The title of this section is Special Characters. Really, it's just a quick sidebar. In previous versions of Corel Draw, we had something called Insert Symbol. Well, because we've introduced symbols, as we discussed a few uh, chapters ago, Insert Symbol has become more appropriately named Insert Character, and you'll find that under the text menu, Insert Character. It opens up a docker on the right-hand side, as you see. And I'm just going to adjust my page, Shift F4, to center it. And really what it does, it just allows you to access characters that are contained within a font set. And you can see you can choose from any of the installed fonts on your system. But a character that's within the font set that isn't easily accessible from the keyboard. So if I scroll down here, I'm going to find things like... Now here's an easy example, the register registered trademark and your copyright symbol. These two symbols are something that's uh, not easy to remember how to access them from the keyboard, so it's something you can use from the special characters. And if we slide down a little further here, you'll notice your one quarter, one half, three quarters, and a lot of accented characters that again are difficult to find on your keyboard. From here as well, you can access the code page. This is a brand new feature to Corel Draw 12. It's something that is a little difficult to explain. You're going to hear about it again later. But basically what the code page is, is access to all of the various language fonts that are stored within a Unicode font base. And it really only benefits those who are bringing in documents or exporting documents to colleagues or friends and using other languages. It's a difficult concept to see, so look for it in a later chapter and we'll take a look at a concrete example.